Mark Barroca. Over the outstretched hands of BGR, and he still gets it to go. Even over, I think, the best shot blocker in the game. He went up there, yeah. So he got stepped on talking about Mark Barroca. All good defense played by the Mundo Chicken Tiplados. Hot shots here as Mark Barroca, the ageless coffee prince, hands it off to Gio Halalon. Halalon, the spin cycle, getting past Chafee Jr. Ooh. Look at the pep in the step. Another look at that what again. What a spin. Oof. Double pump as well between the two shot blockers. Wow. And Wales Rosser and Stokely are saying, where'd he go? <laughs> as we see that the bench loved it. Another turnover here in favor of the Magnolia and the Blados hot shots. Mark Barroca, the feed to Laput, who finishes through the contact. Mm, we got to lay wood. Let's look at this once again. Barroca sees that uh, the defender is converging, just dumps it off to his big man. Perez. Tautua, Aska, six seconds to shoot. Ross will go. Ross kicks it back out to CJ. He's got to launch this, and he drills the three ball. Sangalan working on Miller, kicks it back out to Barroca. The three oh. ball is good. Getting good. into his head early. Jesus, now Jason Perkins, pull up three straight away. He makes it in one. And like I said, you know, going back to the Ruins report where they have a lot of those guys who got injured, they're, you know, who was in sick bay or whatever, and then now they're here. So look at how much time that they were able and how much practice they were able to really put in. Williams will hand it off. Tuffin might have to create here. Doesn't realize the clock. Neither does Perkins. RHJ lost the handle. Dionisio came away with the steal. Gio Halalon. Oh, oh, what a fight to Tyler Bay! That floor well, no matter how much effort he puts on defense. Gio Halalon spinning in midair, finding Tyler Bay for the slam. And Magnolia are rolling here, 83 to 70 in favor of the Hot Shots 10. We give it back to both right, tapped away by Norwood, off the dribble, finding Chuba Bajardo uh, with a slam. Uh, very unselfish play as well. I thought we'll see from this. Oh, this is the previous play. Both right goes baseline, drive, draw, dish, dunk. Goes to June Marnau, six to work with for SMB. Fajardo on the attack. He counters wow. with his own hook. But the but back. It's not over yet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a seven game series. It's not a. Oh boy. Junmar Fajardo hits a three point shot at the buzzer that Benny Boatwright is. Correct. We also know that Benny Boatwright is not the defender that Tyler Bay is. So is that yes. something that Magnolia could try to take advantage of? That's Fajardo. One hander, no good. Rebound for Tyler Bay. Oh, pick off for CJ Perez in the throwdown. And it turns quickly into a slam dunk for the BPC. CJ Perez, 12 apiece. Five minutes, 43 remaining in your first quarter of action. Mark Barroca, now in Sangala. Great find to Gio Halalon, and that's a foul and one. Jumar Mahardo saddled with that one. And a foul. Let's take a look at that again. Great find there. Sorry, Gio Halalon. Halalon. Yeah, Halalon. Are they looking for Jumar? Yes, they are. Posting up now versus Sangala. Jumar gets an end one. Difficult to be able to control him. He's been like this since his college days back in Cebu. As you see, Sunderland gets him across yep. the arm. Look like absolute geniuses. Paul Lee with a drive and kick. Just entering this ball game. CJ Perez, you need a big time bounce back quarter coming from him. And he starts off with that N1. Gets off to a very good start here in the third quarter. Speed advantage. Clear foul. Lefty layup is good off the bank. Will Navarro. Oh, the spin inside. Oh, trying to feed Lucero. That would have been a great highlight, but the pass was too hot. And brand new, oh, Robert Bolle getting the three to go. Asking for continuation. Let's take a look at that again, coach. First, this miss pass 
and then Robert Bolick with the most veteran moves. The moment he hears that whistle, he throws the ball, and I'm sure he's been practicing those kind of shots. It might not really look uh, easy, but you know, that's how Robert Bolick makes every bat. Alex again trying to get a double digit lead. Bolick attacking again. This time he gets the block, plus the foul. Robert Bolick taking control here in the second quarter. Foul. Look at this. There was the reach in, but still that, that finish coming from Robert Bollick giving him still has it Jeff Chan Perkins oh that's going to be a foul plus the basket for Jason Perkins and we have Jeff Chan down on the floor and this is what they all love here giving Robert Bollick a bit of space gets the pick and roll <laughs> pulls up for three and gets it a ball <laughs> barreling his way inside trying to play provider to Borboran but the pass is too hot Again, good idea, but the connection is just not there, Coach. Yes. And Marshall pulls up oh, for three and makes it wow. again. And he's there. You saw he's got some quickness as we take a look at this uh, third three-point shot by uh, Marshall Lasseter in this game. Marshall. Now, the thing with Marshall is he oh. is so strong backing down defenders. CJ Perez. Wing his options, has it to thread well against Asuka. Asuka's offense against defense, Marshall Lasseter! Oh, oh my goodness, Marshall! This is his second uh, four-point play opportunity in this game. There you can see. Drops it off again, Borboran, nice fake. He gets blocked. James Yap fires the three. Yap oh. plays a big three! Had in his face. The defense is right there. Doesn't matter. Big game, James. Doesn't get old seeing that jump shot. Shot clock is off. They'll hold on to the last shot. Can NLEX finally take the lead? The last lead they had was 2-0 at the start of the game. Treadwell finding Gabe. Gabe for three. Oh! Yes! The first taste of the lead since the beginning. The referees check. And it's surely in. Rain or shine with the bucket. Yeah, the next Rain ng Batak, the next Gio Halalo, yan yung hinahanap ng SPP. As great defense played by Ian Sangalang in his first real contribution to this game. Ng Batak, they go to Treadwell here, working on Apple Tracker. The double comp to Ian Sangalang. The feed inside, game. Oh, nice. Without the Treadwell um, having to, to come closer to the basket, and that allowed Gabe Norwood to cut to the basket. My question is, ang trash talk ba dito si Gabe Norwood kay Mark Baroka? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. He just said N1. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. Miss coming from Marcio. Now an opportunity to retake the lead for TNT. The blur squeezing his way in. How fast was that drive coming from Jason? Maybe like running the 100 meter dash or whatever. Because look at him just take off from right there. Boom, boom. No. Or Treadwell. Anna. Only player to have scored for the end. And that is erased by Norwood. Bounce. Of Tana falling away. Norwood. The shadowing of Tana. Kenneth Tuffin working on Gio Halalo gets away, and that is a good steal there from Calvin Abueva. Gio Halalo running the floor, Gio! He falls into the category of uh, you'd love to have as a teammate, you hate as an opponent. Oh, definitely. Calvin is And there he is attacking a former teammate, Calvin Abueva, getting two and an end one opportunity. This is really dangerous. You don't want Calvin to get involved and to energize his Magnolia team again. Calvin Abueva. There's another look at that, as uh, Perkins had his hand down. And on the arm of Calvin on the drive. And 177. Tyler Bay, to make them believe that they can win this championship with the kind of defense that he played on Benny Boat Drive. Sometimes just this mere presence just changes the complexion of things here. Ian Sangala for options, finds out it's Jonisho. He likes that spot. Jonisho yes. gets a big three. BGR goes to Jason. Castro against Santillan. Same attack, Jason. Oh, what a find! 
BGR with a finger roll. And knowing that Bo Belga will come in to help. Ooh. Jason Castro somehow was hot in the first part. Or can he deliver more points for Blackwater? James Yap against BGR. That's a long three. Oh, oh boy. Wow. But still. Okay, James. Okay. <laughs> I know you want to say, I, I know you want to hear us say you still got it, but yeah, do you have to do that, then? Blackwater needs a leader to really step up here and make a basket. How about James? Yeah, I'm going two for two. Well, there's your, your leader. A good defense from TNT. Uh, Calvin of Tana certainly made that uh, pass much harder to make. Well, all the points have come from either Arana or Stock. Correct. The five question points is, from Arana. Who's going to come up next as Sangalam finishes in close range? Close to 10 points per game in his comeback conference pathway and that runway to be able to land a spot here for Magnolia. Oh, Brian Santos uh, on the other side from the Correct. Bridge. And Mattenberg as well. That's true, coach. As Mattenberg, oh, swatted away by Calvin. Thank you very much, Ayana, for that report. Catch and, uh, 22 questions, really. Oh, oh, because that's a very honest uh, question there from uh, Coach Alden Ayo as again. But they will not be having Henry Galinato, who has started a couple of games for them. Suffering an injury in practice is Marcio Lassiter open to scoring with back to back triples. Who do you guard? I mean, who do you like focus on? Because everybody can hurt you. I think that was almost a jump ball there. Almost a jump ball, almost a traveling violation as well. But in any case, it almost looked like a four shot, but not for Don. That's a Far for the course shot as we look at the blur showing us he can knock it down. It's the, not me, by the way. It's Rudy Hatfield. Rudy Hatfield. <laughs> Rudy made me popular. Ma, it wasn't me. <laughs> Ma, kapatid, look for the Rudy Hatfield interview when he needs to really get involved. But it really depends on Coach Bonnie. Sometimes you have to take a gamble, especially if you know that you don't have much people inside already. Eight seconds to shoot. Quinto. Over to Hodge. Elbow jumper is oh, money. Wow. What a huge shot for Cliff Hodge. Really huge, Gino. Trying to reach the number uh, <laughs> of Calvin Abueva. How many times they've hit the floor tonight? Same. Only one out of five from three point land. But they ended up still with 20 points. Sean Miller. Wow, what a hesitation move. Drops it off Hodge. Gets the basket plus the foul. <laughs> Corn fed mule. Like <laughs> Cliff Hodge is so strong. He thought it. Should have been a let go for him, but still misses. Japet with the board. Tenorio this time kicks it to Nart. Nice pass inside. Ahanisi finishes. Hold forces up the three, almost banking it home. Oh, that's an accident that goes in in favor of Tera Firma. It's back down to a one point game. To, uh, to challenge. Look at that, something we don't see too often. I think it was Jason Castro with, uh, with the tap. Oh, oh. Accident. This is now the tall front line of Palangay Nebla that we were talking yep. about with Malonzo. Aguilar, Stan Hardinger, but it's still a three-point shoot fest here for Palangay Nebla. Palangay Nebla has three fouls to give, but that's not the philosophy of Coach Tim. Richie Rivero gets the step, Pinoy step, oh my goodness, what a beauty from Richie. And you can see the gather, the, the Hesse, this is what makes it a Pinoy step. It's the high <laughs> gather on the first one. As the Richie Rivero shows us the mastery of that move, they take the lead. Tera Firma not calling a timeout. Wami shoots a three. Whoa! Wabi with the lead! Look at this one more time. Over the defense of RK. There was no foul. Just a little nice ball protect. Taking that three-point shot. In and out. It was in. Finally, a three-point shot and the win for Terra Firma Jeep. And Blackwater being doomed by their free throws in this game. And Swami Johnson seals the deal for the Terra Firma Jeep as they tie Blackwater in the standings, three and two here in the Philippine Cup. What a shot by Wami.